Kriks is here and welcome to this week's video. As you can see from the title, I am going to show you my top 10 colors of all time. And these are the colors I tend to grab the most. And I use them a lot in my illustrations. Actually, I wanted to show all of my colored pencil collection, but I realized the footage I filmed, it was too dark. So I'm going to refilm it and show it next week. But for this week, uh, let's enjoy color swatching and uh, just chatting about colors. I also, like, I have done a lot of swatching. I really like swatching. So I have, like, this color book with all the swatches. And I also have <laughs> separate swatches where I'm just swatching everything. Uh, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm a little bit crazy with all the colors. Okay. Let's start with the first color, and the first color is Misty Blue. It's uh, my favorite gouache color. I have my backup plan, so this is my backup gouache. Um, truly the most beautiful grayish blue color I have ever seen. And I also I have two colors from pencils, which are quite close to Misty Blue in this shade so let's get swatching so this is a um, Carandash uh, Pablo I think and it's silver gray color so it's amazing color it's like gray but with like a slight light tint of blue color and there is also Prismacolor Premier Cloud Blue which is more bluish than the first one you can definitely I hope see it on camera and the misty blue I'm just gonna put a little bit of water. I don't know, it's so hard to explain how much I love this color. It's perfect for skies. I really like it uh, just using plain color. I usually don't mix it with anything else. I just use it as it is. I feel it's complementing every other color. Yeah, so I can show you some of the examples for this particular color. So I'm doing Inktober. I will actually make separate video about Inktober, but I just wanted to show like this is this cloud blue color, misty blue color, and it's working so well with everything. <laughs> Here is another example of one of my Inktober pieces. Okay, the next color I want to show and swatch is uh, this uh, cloud blue from Dervant Colorsoft. This is by far my favorite pencil out of all the pencils I own. And this is, I think, third pencil I bought because I already used two full pencils. And this is one of the one pencils I have backup plans. So I already bought more the same kind of pencil. And you will see it's, it's beautiful. So this is much darker. So... And like, there is no justice how much I love this pencil. It's so beautiful. And it I use it also for skies. And sometimes I layer this pencil on top of misty blue gouache. So it makes perfect texture and it works really well together. I also found alternative. So this is a Holbein Artist colored pencil and uh, the name is Smog Blue. And it's slightly different. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's a little bit different. So this is a little bit darker and a little bit more violety. This is a little bit more bluish. So, <laughs> okay. The next one is uh, the color AHI for backgrounds uh, in landscapes. And it's uh, it's really hard to describe this color. I have this um, Moloto marker, which I absolutely love, and it's uh, called Lago Blue Pastel. I feel it's perfect for landscapes. But then I also have this uh, Prismacolor Premier pencil called Jade Green. And it's kind of like lighter version of it. This is also another shade of it I enjoy. This is just like a color mix I did. 
So there is also this uh, pencil, Darwin drawing pencil, smoke blue, and I feel it's quite close to this as well. So I'm going to show a few examples of these pencils and how I use them just in a second. So these colors I use in the backgrounds and it's usually portrayed as green but like distant green and you can see this is like the the color from Inktober prompts and this is also like used as a distant color. Okay, let's swatch the next color and uh, you probably know this color. I talked about this color before, but this is Ash Green by Holbein Gouache. I love this color so much and I feel it's the darker version of, of this kind of shade. And <laughs> I just, I feel this is like my top 10. I couldn't not include this color. It's such a gorgeous shade. So, oh no. Okay, um, accidents. Just, I will be right back. I accidentally spilled it a little bit, but I hope it's alright. So this is a ash green color and uh, I love it so much. Um, I'm just gonna save it a little bit because I made a mistake, but uh, I also use this color in the distant backgrounds when I do my illustrations, but sometimes I use it uh, also mixing with other colors to make, for example, warmer tones a little bit cooler or it's perfect for making like duller colors, mixing it with orange, for example. Okay, so I have this wonderful pencil from Faber-Castell and it's art green and I really like this pencil. It's a little bit different color, I know, but I kind of count them together. This is a little bit warmer tone. Super neutral color, though. And then I have this Tombow Iroiten pencil, which is called Scouring Rush. And it's EX3. Uh, and I know you might think, wait, this is another color, but these are all like towards like similar shade. So I'm just going to include it up here. And then I have like this um, marker I made myself. Uh, I will link the video somewhere, but I recently mixed my own colors and this is the color I love. So I was surprised to see that I made it like as a perfect ash green color. I'm just gonna put another layer up here. So these are like deeper and darker and cooler colors. I'm just gonna write it down for reference. Okay, the next color is super exciting, but also super obvious. So I couldn't not include yellow ochre. This is the color I use a lot. I use it in any form, in gouache, in markers, in pencils. So I'm just gonna swatch a little bit. I have much more colors containing yellow ochre in different brands, but these are just some of the choices I made. So we have ochre brown from Molotov. Then we have this uh, pencil from Carandash Luminescent, Luminance, Luminescence. <laughs> I, I don't know how to pro pronounce it, but uh, I actually don't know the clear name, but I guess this is Ochre Brown or something like that. And this is like less saturated yellow ochre. We have also something super similar to this less saturated yellow ochre from Derwent Drawing, which is called Brown Ochre. Then we have this yellow ochre also from Derwent Drawing. 
and it's a little bit even more yellowish than everything every other color and then we have like this uh, light yellow ochre from Papa Berkestel and there are much more shades so these are just a few I decided to swatch for you um, gonna write these names down but before that I want to show some of the examples where I use the yellow ochre so I use yellow ochre a lot uh, for hair I'm also using yellow ochre in clothing okay so this color is also the one I'm grabbing the most I love this color so much and it's like this rusty orange color I like it in all shapes of forms in color in uh, clothing everywhere <laughs> so if I had ball in this color I wouldn't mind at all so I'm gonna swatch some of them of course I have even more colors in similar shades but these are just quite good range so this is a lobster in Moloto and it's one of my favorite colors gonna go up here then I have this uh, <laughs> Darwin drawing pencil as you can see like Darwin drawing is one of my favorite pencils I have used them the most and I have these from 2017 I think and the second picture book I worked was completely done with these pencils and I have already uh, restocked and re uh, bought more of the same kind just because I run out of them and this is no exception yeah so this is Mars orange color I love it so much you will see such a gorgeous color right <laughs> I yeah it's it's amazing then I have this uh, Prismacolor Premier Burnt Ochre and I felt this is like good color it's a little bit more towards brown I would say but it's still in, in this range of colors you know so and this is this also reminds me like of cinnamon or something like that like super cozy color can colors be cozy? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you feel some colors are cozy colors? And then I have like this Faber Castell Art Grip pencil and it's 188. I think in Polychromes you can also find this color. And this is like a little bit deeper than the burnt orange yeah i love this so much i also use it a lot in different things i use this color for hair and um, i also <laughs> i really like ginger hair so maybe that's why i have ginger hair right now because i just love how it looks i also use it for foxes <laughs> i love foxes so much so okay um i need to talk about this color I I just love this color so much so it's um kind of like cream color slash ivory slash enamel color this is also the color I use a lot in gouache format so this is a Turner Acryla gouache in pastel edition and the name is pastel enamel it's really beautiful color it's a little bit dried up because I forgot to close the lid one time so I need to order more of this color after some time because it's a um, little bit different consistency but sometimes it can work like that you know so I just love how lovely this color looks and um, it's also like it's not so light or it's not so dark you know it's like a middle i sometimes use this color for skies 
to make this uh, scene much warmer, the feeling as it as if it's uh, like sunrise or sunset. Usually sunrise. In sunrise, the skies are like a little bit more yellowish, I guess. And um, I will start with Prismacolor Premier. This is cream color. It's the closest match, I think, to this gouache color. And I have no idea how I will get more of this color because I feel this is... Um, I got Prismacolor from my friend. She sent it from America. And in Europe, we don't have a lot of um, places where to buy them. Actually, none of them are in the UK. So when I will run out of it, I have no idea when, when and where I will get it. I guess I need to travel to America now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is cream color. Then I have this uh, Caron d'Ash Luminescent. And this is Naples Ochre color. It's also such a gorgeous shade. It's a little bit darker and deeper than the previous one. Then we have Derwent Color Soft Cream Color. This is really interesting. So we have Ivory in Polychromous Color. And this is the lightest color from all of them. So I don't know if you will see it on camera. I don't know. Do you see it? I hope you will. Um, but yeah, so I just, I love this color. It's also like misty blue. It suits almost every scene. It's so good. I will show some, some of the examples now. This is used like a sky color, even though like it could be blue, but it looks so good together with all the other colors. Eight color in the list. I'm gonna include brown because I feel I have such a warm colors in my work and brown is the color I use quite often either for like uh, scenes from outside or some details in interior. I use it a lot so I don't feel this would be good enough if I didn't include browns and there are so many browns so it's actually really hard to choose which one but I guess I will I will show a little bit because I have so many browns I love. So this is um, Turner Acrylic Gouache from Japanese series and it's Burnt Umber. So I feel this is like classic chocolatey brown color and it's super like universal. I have some pencils so this is a uh, light umber. I feel it's the same of, as the, that one. It's not so dark, but it's like similar shade. Then I have this Darwin Drawing Warm Earth color. A luminescent, luminance, raw umber. This is more greenish. I like this shade a lot. And we have Nougat from Faber Castell. I want to say I like much more browns as well, like all the range. I love also warmer browns and cooler browns. So this is just only one part of it, I would say. So two more colors to go. I, I'm i going to have like quick tea break <laughs> and I will be right back, okay? For you, it will be a few seconds. As you can see, I just drank tea. It's uh, It was cold, almost cold. I guess sometimes I tend to drink it <laughs> only when it's cold, even though those weren't my intentions, but it's just how it is. So let's just move on to another page. Okay, so these are the last two colors. Are you ready? So I'm going back to greens and now I want to show you the warmer greens I love. I'm gonna start with uh, this uh, gouache and I have a really sad and funny story. So basically I got it used in Japanese color box. I have the video uh, where I swatched these colors and this was already almost empty and apparently it's one of the best colors I like I really love and it's a uh, yellow green but <laughs> in Jackson's art 
it showed that it will be available I think at the end of January so three or four months from now which is super sad because it's almost over but um, I'm gonna swatch, swatch a little bit for you and um, <laughs> let's cry together about it but yeah it's also like it's quite dried up so what I usually do I just put the chunk of it and just more water and kind of reactivate it I just oh, this is such a gorgeous color I just cannot explain it's just like childhood memories and it looks like meadows in Latvia so this is how much I love this color and I'm I don't know sometimes I don't grab the colors from tube but I really like how this looks just straight from the the tube isn't this gorgeous color <laughs> or well well maybe you disagree but um yeah <laughs> i feel it's uh the gorgeous green well one of the gorgeous greens i have another color which is absolutely brilliant uh, you just need to add a little bit i will i will share it a little bit later i guess i will start with the prisma color so this is lime peel really beautiful and interesting name and it's a little bit lighter I would say a little bit brighter but I feel it's it's in this um, set <laughs> together then we have this um, olive color from Carandage Pablo and let's put it here then we have Tombo Iroita and Moss Green and it's it's kind of similar ish similar ish <laughs> then we have this um, elm green which is uh, a little bit darker i would say now i'm gonna show this marker i named this color pistachio and i am standing by this choice of the wording and I also have Amazon Slide, which is beautiful color. Okay, let's move on to the last color, the tenth color of my favorite colors. I actually, I don't have this specific color in any other format up here. This is something super unique. This is, I think, my second most favorite colored pencil I own. And I cannot replicate, right? Re replicate replicate like find exact same shade in any other brand than prismacolor so it's ginger root i love this color so much it, it's my favorite prismacolor pencil that's it it's like my favorite 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 i'm gonna swatch it like huge chunk of it because that's how much i love it so get ready for this <laughs> oh why am why am i like this <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is the color. I like I don't know. I I love this color so much. It's it's like I I will cry when this pencil will be over because I know it will be super hard to get it here in the UK. So I don't know, I will either try to hunt another brand with similar color or I don't know, I need to go to America. <laughs> so this is ginger root. Um, I have two kind of more uh, towards like cream color colors, which could kind of suit this. So I have wheat, which is a Derwent drawing pencil. As you can see, I use it quite well as well. <laughs> so but it's you see it's it's different <laughs> so and it's it's not like ivory or something I swatched before it's much uh, you know like duller color but it's not the same then I have this uh, Caron Dash olive brown 10% which I thought will be this color because you know, like there's tint of green, but also tint of yellow, and then it's super muted. So I thought this will be it. 
And that's why I bought this pencil, just specifically for this kind of thing, re repli <laughs> to replicate this color. But look, it's still different. And I mean, like, there is nothing wrong with this color. I love it so much as well. It's just, I, I love that, that one more. <laughs> so, and then I, I found this Holbein Artist Color Pencil, which is named Willow Green, and it's the closest one to Gingerwood. But <laughs> you will see the difference as well. Can you see the difference? I hope you can. So this is more greenish than this one, but like these all look gorgeous together. So I thought I will include them all in this swatching session. I also have this color named Pastel Olive, which I use quite dearly. I love this color as well. And um, I'm gonna swatch it out because this is one of the greens I use in my artworks. And then I have like this. This probably will not suit it, but I love this color. It's named Parchment. It's in Liquitex from Liquitex brand. It's much more like grayish color, um, but I just want to include it somewhere because I love this color and I feel it's the closest one up here. So it's like this color. So it's really neutral and muted, but I love this color a lot. So I'm just gonna include this, <laughs> um, because why not? Okay, so I'm gonna write down the names and then I'm gonna show you all the colors in one place and do a little re recap. And also I will share this book, which maybe you noticed I keep swatching it. Uh, every single time I swatch different color I'm changing the pages so you will see this book as well and what this is all about <laughs> okay okay uh, just for the reference if you like these colors you can pause the video here and see how each of the names is called um, the same for this page um, just for reference if you need it and also the last page I wrote down the brand and name of the pencil or color. This is like my hobby in the summer. I really want to press flowers and leaves. So I wrote down the date when I picked them. I have flower press by my friend Rita and I was pressing the flowers every week. So I just felt like it's such a calming process to go outside in the meadows and collect them. And then I kind of made like this small library of different flowers. I really enjoyed it and I feel I will do this next year again. I also tried to write down the names, but I don't know this, for example, and sometimes it's really hard to find them, but... Uh, yeah, if you actually know this name of the flower, <laughs> let me know. I just felt I wanted to share this book to you. Like, show this mini hobby. Maybe you're interested too. It's really nice just to collect some flowers and plants. This, for example, is lavender. It smells so good, even though it's dried up. Uh, but yeah, I still have pages missing, but um, I, I just really love this idea, so just decided to share this one to you okay um thank you so much for watching this week's video and if you like it please give a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite colors <laughs> because uh, i want you want to hear your favorite colors maybe they're completely different and that's okay like each of us are different so yeah let, write down below i'm super curious and next week i'm gonna show all the colored pencil collections I have. I hope you will wait and see it next week. Okay, um, have a good day, evening, morning, wherever you are, and see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>